Hello, Big Fatoni here. So now here we have an, a photo at Moneymaker. It says, here's a photo of real Sasquatch in Washington State. An elk hunter witness at recent Colorado town hall says the one he saw almost identical. So I've uh, downloaded the image. Let's have a look. And somebody actually commented um, the legs are too short. It's a gorilla or the legs are too short, or the legs are too skinny. Clearly the legs are kind of hidden under the foliage here. So, and this is actually the, the top of the knee. So the knee would be around around here, and the legs probably, I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating that the, the foot would probably be around just above this white um, uh, object here. That's what I'm kind of guessing, really. Maybe longer, maybe uh, maybe shorter. Now this is just my opinion, but this really looks good. So I've done uh, an enhancement of the original. That's the original, and uh, it's enhanced with contrast and a bit of sharpness. Um, and also I've, as you can see, I've zoomed in and cropped it. So and also somebody said um, something like get a new camera or something like that. You know, the, suggesting that the, the the quality of the image is really bad. Well, yeah, it is bad because it's been cropped. It's been, it's already been cropped and it's already been zoomed, zoomed in. So, um, I think at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what camera you have. Probably a cell phone, a uh, mobile phone as well. So, you know, you, you, um, but but I don't think it mat matters what camera you have. If you're going to crop an image, you know, this is probably um, actually a really small area in in a larger photo. So when you crop an image and zoom in like this, you know, this is what's going to happen. You're going to lose a lot of quality. So I think it's going on here. I think this is the, the right arm, the right forearm here, um, the right shoulder. Um, obviously the head is, is, uh, is here and the wrist is the round there and, and the rest of the right hand is, is behind the green foliage here. So really that is a long arm. And I'm, I'm guessing that the, the knee is probably around this area here, so the uh, waist is around here. And it's kind of crouched over, as you can see, and this white area is the background. So this is an accurate outline, I think. And this is the, um, the top of the thigh of the right leg. This is not a gap between the legs, this is the foliage in the foreground. Because somebody said those legs are skinny, well that's not the leg shape. Okay, so the back backside is probably around here. And the thigh is probably around here, going all the way down, obviously. And I think the the right arm, I think, the, uh, sorry, the left. I think this is the left arm, the left forearm here, and the back of the hand is probably around here, coming down to about there, possibly. Um, left elbow is around here. Again, we're having some foliage here, some foliage in the foreground, leaves in the foreground. This is the top of the head is here, probably the the brow ridge here, eyes, nose somewhere around here, and the mouth somewhere around here, and the chin. Uh, around this area, I'm guess I'm kind of guessing because we're not going to get a, an accurate um, reading here. We're not going to get details given the quality and and also here we, I think what we're seeing is some f some leaves and foliage on on the back of the neck. So it's not actually the outline of the head. So the the head is probably coming around around here. I'm guessing, but I do th I do believe the um, this kind of pointed head is is more or less accurate to what we're seeing here. This does appear to be an arm, but I think it's just um, foliage or some branch or something, um, possibly in the, in the foreground, or it could be carrying something. I'm, I'm not sure. And this is the um, probably the chest of the creature. But at the end of the day, we cannot be 100% sure whether it is actually uh, something or it's either um, a creature or somebody in a suit. That is also a possibility, I think. Unfortunately, I have to say that, and um, although I do believe it's possibly the real deal, it looks good to me. Not that I'm any expert on what they look like, and also I have to say I don't always agree with uh, with Matt Moneymaker on what he says. Let's do uh, black and white as well. Fill in the highlights. 
We're not going to get a lot of enhanced power with this one, given the quality. Okay, thanks for watching.